you got to say? No, not really. Right. Let me rephrase that. I think you're overdoing it. By what typing? Liam, people do that all over the world, all over the time, so... Look, what time did you leave this morning? I didn't even see you. I don't know. It was early, but, I mean, does it matter? You know I'm trying to play catch-up now. Susie's gone. I also know the word delegate. You should be sharing your workload with Priya. It's hard to do, isn't it, when she's not here? Hello. Oh, hello, David. Liam. Great. Another person who's not a client, like I've not got enough on. Right. Well, I'll pop back later then, force you to have some lunch with me or something, make sure you've got a proper break. Smashing. Uh, I am just passing a message on from Priya. She's feeling a bit ropey and she's not coming in. Why did she call? She texts you. She said you've not got back to her. Right, fine. What's up with her? Oh, I don't know. Some headache, fluey thing. She looked a bit rough, actually, when I went to pick Amber up. Great. Today. Today of all days. Right. Well, she says she's dead sorry. And I'm sure you'd like to pass on your best wishes now you know she's ill. Yeah, of course. I'll tell her. OK, bye. Look, I don't want to put uh, any more on your plate, but, um... Go on. Jake was really upset that you cancelled on him yesterday. Right, so when you just said you didn't want to put more on my plate, they were just words with it. Don't shoot the messenger. He just said that he hasn't seen you very much recently. And I want to see him too, but Kim Tate has given me 48 hours to get my act together before she walks. And you can see why he's a bit upset that that's more important to you. I'm going to make it up to him, OK? Once I get a second to get on top of all these flipping emails. Right, leave you to it. Bye, please do. Just call again any time you want, David. You've got a love of training day, haven't you? Don't know I mean, the kids. Yeah, logistical nightmare for working parents. Thank goodness for wall-to-wall -wall telly and the makers of chocolate fingers. <laughs> like a real-life Mary Poppins, Bob, isn't it? You wouldn't be the first to say that. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, pick your mum up a bunch of flowers after this cheer her up a bit, eh? Yeah, OK. Oh, that'll be lovely. I tell you what, you can take her a brownie from me and all, yeah? Tell her that I'm sorry that she's still feeling rubbish. Oh, she'd like that, wouldn't she? I'm sorry. You know, for being a bit harsh earlier. Just got a lot on and, well, I, I didn't mean to upset Jacob. Yeah, but apart from the fact that you did, he's really sensitive at the moment. Just worrying about his exam results. Why is he worrying about that? He's going to do amazing. Yeah, I just guess he's having a bit of a wobble. I think he just needs us more at the moment to be available for him, you know? When you say us, do you mean me? Yeah. David, you know that I've been firefighting at work at the moment. It's not like I've been going out partying, is it? Yeah, I know that. I know. I also know that he's going to be at uni before we even know it. Starting a whole new life without us. Well, thank you, you know, for the guilt trip. But all I'm saying is, just don't turn him down when he's still asking us to spend time together. Amber bailed on you. Yeah, she was a little bit bored. So I've left her in there watching Norris Nuts. Apparently, being my assistant isn't the most exciting way to spend a teacher training day. Well, she's not wrong there. You, um, you heard anything from Layla? No, why? Oh, it's just I bumped into her earlier. She said that she was good, that she had to let you down the other day. She didn't say anything to me. Hey! Should my ears be burning? I don't know. I uh, just telling Jacob that you were gutted that you had to bail on him. Yeah, of course I was, which is why I was going to get us your favourite takeout tonight to make it up to you. OK, great. David said that you were feeling a little bit stressed about these exams of yours. A bit, maybe. Yeah, well, I'm not. I know you're going to smash it. I've got every faith in you. And to prove it, I'm going to transfer a load of money into your account for student accommodation. Really? Yeah. I mean, your dad will be in on it as well, but I just thought that way you could get something a little bit fancier. No way. Thanks. That's brilliant. A bit fancy? Why, why would a student need fancier? Surely wipeable and easily repaintable is more important. Dad? Well, I'm just being practical. Well, I've never really done practical. And if I want to spoil my only child, then I will, when he's no object. Right, Jacob? Right. Awesome.